What's going on everybody, it's Delin here, and today we're gonna to talk about something that I haven't really talked about a whole lot on this channel, Home Assistant. If you've been around the smart home game for any amount of time, you've probably picked a dedicated platform to use by now. For me, I really enjoy Apple Home. I have a lot of Apple devices and my family uses Apple devices and I just really like the Apple ecosystem. So Apple Home just makes a lot of sense for us. However, Apple Home has its limitations. Recently, I made a video about home automation and the four layers that I use when building automations. You can check that video out here. And in that video, I talked about Home Assistant and how I'm using Home Assistant to achieve a lot deeper automation than I'm able to achieve in Apple Home. But also, you don't have a lot of control over the layout of your Apple Home. Now sure, you can put different devices in different rooms, but really you're just stuck to these buttons which open different things depending on what you press and creating scenes. That's great if you just want the most simple layout possible, but what if I told you that using Home Assistant, you could actually create a floor plan that responds to your touch depending on where you tap to turn lights on and off. That's what I'm gonna show you today. So this is my Home Assistant dashboard and I'll be the first to tell you this is absolutely a work in progress and is not at all complete. But what I love about Home Assistant is I have a whole bunch of different dashboards that I can use over here. So I have one dedicated to my phone, for example, which is just one vertical list of devices. Um, and then also I have my desktop computer, which obviously I'm on right now. I have a dedicated floor plan that just sh literally shows the floor plan. So if I go to my da desktop dashboard, it's a very clean, very simple dashboard and I have complete control over what this looks like and what it's showing and things like that. So you can see right here, first I got the time, the weather, and I just kind of have some information like sunset and the sunrise. And then I have location param or location identifiers for me and my wife. Up here on the top middle, you're gonna see these are the different rooms with presence sensors and the different areas with presence sensors. And you can see um, at a quick glance that I'm in my studio and the presence is detected. So you can see that at a quick glance, quick glance right here. And then of course now you get into the different floor plan maps and you have first level and second level. And what I love about this is if I click into a room, it'll actually pull up that room in its own map view. Um, now these map views are optimized for my iPhone. So when you click into it, I've actually made a 16 or a nine by 16 uh, shaped image here of my studio, for example. And if I click it, it turns it off. Or if I click it again, it turns it on and it reflects right here in the map. Now, again, this is a work in progress. It is not perfect. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this, which I'll get into in a minute. But what I love about this is it just gives me that instant control right there of whatever I click on. I just tap it or click it and it works. And you got all lights and if I tap and hold, I can control the brightness or the dim. It's controlling my video lights. So it really just gives you control, easy control of whatever you click on or tap on. Now if we go back out, you can see I have the whole house again. Right here, you're gonna see the thermostat. That is actually the temperature that the thermostat is set to in my living room. And I can tap into that and click it and change it with a, with a tap, super easy. If I click into my living room, there's my living room. I have my TV lights right here, which you can see on the back of the TV and on the sides, you see it indicates whether that's on or off. You can see if there's presence on each couch. All lights right here, there's a lamp over here, there's a lamp right here. And if I close, if I turn all my lights off, you'll see it reflects in the map. And then of course my curtains right here, if I tap that, it'll close, or actually they're closed right now. If I tap it, it'll open. So it really, and then, and then at a quick glance, I can see this light is on. I could see if my wife's office light is on, or I can turn it on and off with a tap. Any smart light or smart switch that I have in Home Assistant, I have on here to reflect whether those lights are on or off. And I can control them right here. And then over here on the right of my dashboard, I just have a very simple counter uh, card, which is actually inspired by the channel Future Smart Home. And I'll link a video that he did on how to make this down below. 
but essentially what it did you can see here I still have a test here where, from when I was setting it up but essentially what it is is you create these counters which simply count up in Home Assistant and then you create an automation that every day it adds to that counter and then separately you create an automation that if it's above a certain number it'll send you a notification to your phone to remind you to do that thing every day if it's above that number it'll do it every single day and every time that counter goes up until you reset it and then to take it a step deeper he created nfc tags on those things and tapped them with his phone to reset the count very simple but a very deep automation i really like the idea for for home maintenance and so i'll link that video down below so you can see uh just how to do that if you're interested but this is my dashboard this is my home assistant dashboard it's very simple very clean very modern like i said i also have it right here on my phone and you can see it's pretty similar to what i showed you here um, i got all the stu same stuff that i have because that's what i need and it's a very simple modern approach at at controlling your smart home and something I forgot to mention is how I created these floor plans so I'm using an so I used an app called sweet home 3d and what that's doing is it's allowing me to create the exact floor plan it has stick it has pictures for your furniture and it has pictures for all, all kinds of different additions it really allowed me to create these really super hyper realistic 3d rendering of my rooms and allowed me to kind of make it look how I wanted so I can have complete control to design this the way it looks in my home. So that's what I'm using Home Assistant for. Now, how am I using Home Assistant alongside HomeKit? This is actually a very easy thing to do. If you're wanting to control your HomeKit devices in Home Assistant and HomeKit, um, the best way to do that is to use the HomeKit Bridge plugin for Home Assistant. And it's very simple. Um, all you're doing is you're adding your devices into Home Assistant first, then you're using this plugin to get them into HomeKit. And the way it works is it's basically creating a bridge using your Home Assistant instance inside of HomeKit and it's pulling those devices which you configure right here in the setup um, what kind of devices you want, and then which specific devices you want to carry over into HomeKit. And so I'm using that plugin in order to get all my devices in Home Assistant over into HomeKit, whether they're HomeKit compatible or not. My Govi light right there is not HomeKit compatible. However, I'm controlling it in HomeKit because I have it in Home Assistant and carrying it over into HomeKit with that HomeKit bridge. So that's, ho that's how I'm using Home Assistant for a very high level. Now I'm always tweaking and I'm always experimenting and I'm always checking out other apps and there's a couple other dashboard apps that you can use for Home Assistant. I know Shane Watley was just talking about one on his channel um, and George Langabeer has some amazing ones on his channel that he was talking about in his, re in his most recent home tour. So make sure you check out their channels as well. And if more home dashboards are something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for uh, feedback on how I can make this more valuable for you guys. So drop it in the comments and let me know if you want me to play with any other home dashboards or do you want to hear more about Home Assistant and what you can do with Home Assistant. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.